Damon Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. This week we're in Joffrey, Alberta to meet up with a farmer who is skeptical at first, but now has a deep appreciation of agrivoltaics, the idea of combining solar with agriculture. My name is Sean Morton. Uh, I live uh, near Joffrey, Alberta. I'm a fourth generation uh, farmer. Uh, my grandfather came uh, to Alberta from Scotland in 1900 and uh, homesteaded uh, right on this uh, site right where we are right now. So this is the uh, Joffrey Solar uh, Project. It's about 48 megawatts. Um, I think I was approached in about um, 2000 uh, by some developers. Um, if I was interested in, uh, in having a solar farm on my, on my land, of course, whenever you're approached by something and uh, it's a change, you always say no. Um, so they kept coming back. Uh, they were persistent, especially one fellow named Claude, I remember was very persistent. And uh, so eventually uh, they worked me down to the point where they said, you know, let's, uh, we can continue it in farming and agriculture and also have the solar and uh, you can utilize any land that we don't use uh, within the park as well as on the outside uh, for agriculture as well. And of course there was a financial benefit too as well, uh, which really provided me incentive as well. Claude Mindorf is with Pace, a solar company, and he helped found Agrivoltaics Canada. He worked with Sean to come up with a plan. Sure, this is uh... This is a uh, cumulatively 47 and a half megawatt solar ground mount project located uh, just outside the gate of the Nova uh, Joffrey gas uh, plastics plant. It's situated on 220 uh, acres of uh, pasture. Um, it's been in pasture for a couple generations. And uh, we worked with the landowner to come up with a design that allowed for the incorporation of agriculture still. Uh, in this particular case, grazing cattle around the outside, grazing sheep on the inside. Sean says they may harvest hay this year, and he and Claude are also talking about testing barley as well. He appreciates the idea of agrivoltaics. Um, as you can see up and down these rows, we're in the middle of May and already the grass has grown probably four inches. Um, so as you would guess, there's no impact. Uh, where the, the water runs off the solar panels. You can't really see it because we haven't had much moisture, but I imagine there'll be some, uh, some higher grass there, but no impact from these panels. Um, and I, we hope, hope to be able to, to do some haying and run, uh, run some sheep out here as well. Sean will continue farming operations in the solar park, but there's two other significant benefits. Well, I think there's a financial benefit um, I think it'll keep a lot of farmers on the land, maybe some farmers who, uh, who have not a lot of acreage, they get a solar park in, uh, they can stay on the farm probably and farm full time. And that's one benefit to me is uh, I'm able to farm full time with the uh, financial benefit of the park. Um, other benefits I think is, uh, is just the, the, the solar, um, the electricity provided. Um, into the grid. I think we all know that Alberta is a growing pro province and the ec extra electricity that the, the park provides is, is certainly needed. Sean forged a collaborative relationship with the solar company right from the start. Uh, the solar uh, developer or construction company uh, was really great to work with. Uh, the guys uh, at points that let me bring my cattle in and graze some of the areas. We were also able to, to hay some of the site when they hadn't uh, quite progressed to it. And I was also blown away by the number of workers. I think they were up to 200 workers at one point on site. Uh, tremendous benefit to Central Alberta. Um, and certainly down the road um, with succession planning uh, with my family, I, I hope that my daughter will farm or, or if she doesn't choose a career in agriculture and she'll have the benefit of uh, being able to stay in agriculture with the, with the revenue from the solar park and uh, choose a career of any kind, uh, but still retain the land as well. Sean has worked with oil and gas, but solar is different. Yeah, I would say it's the least impact. You know, there's, there's no, no real noise comes from the project. Uh, there's no waking up in the middle of the night. Uh, 
like uh, if an oil company has to go to a well site or anything like that it's they're in there only about once a month just to check the panels make sure that everything's working so it's a tremendous neighbor agrivoltaics is all about keeping the farm in the solar farm if you want to get involved with solar on your farm sean says talk to someone with experience before carving out a deal learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca for green energy futures i'm david dodge